Hey everybody, Josh again, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to take the lead list that you built using the Chrome extension or the search part of the Apollo platform and add them to a sequence so we can start getting in touch with people, sending calls and emails, building our pipeline, and hopefully closing some deals. Let's dive in. Uh, so you'll notice I'm in the Apollo platform and along the top, I have clicked on the engage button. This is going to take me to all of the engagement features we have in Apollo. Uh, be it uh, conversations or calls or tasks, playbooks and templates and a million other things, which we will get into in due time. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this big blue button on the right that says new sequence. So if you're new to tools like Apollo, a sequence is just a series of calls or emails or LinkedIn touches uh, that we're going to use over a period of time to get in touch with people. Now we've made it easy for you in Apollo. You can create a pre-built sequence using templates that we have written for you and created for you. And I recommend you come through here and read these and see what they do. But for the sake of uh, teaching a man to fish, if you will, I am going to create a new sequence from scratch. And we did build a lead list for marketing agency owners. So I'm going to create a marketing agency owner sequence. And I can set some permissions here, whether I want my team to be able to use it. I can also set a schedule. If I don't wanna be emailing people on the weekends or having a call task come due on the weekend, for example, I can choose the normal business hours schedule or I can create a new schedule uh, for whatever I want. For now, I'm just gonna keep this easy and hit create. And you'll notice that this has kicked us into the creation wizard for a sequence. Uh, and I do have the ability to use AI in the creation flow which I can talk about, but I wanna show you how to do all of this manually before we get into that. So I clicked the add a step, uh, and that's what we call each part of a sequence. It's called a step. So I have a bunch of decisions I need to make now. What do I wanna do first? Do I wanna send a manual email to someone or call them or make a task for myself to do something else? Do I wanna create a, a task for them to in LinkedIn? Anything that I, I wanna do, I can choose here now. Uh, and I'm going to go ahead and choose manual email. Now, this is going to give me an opportunity to do some research on everybody I add to the sequence and personalize the email I send to them. So I like that. Now, you're not always going to be able to great, create great personalization and you can use auto emails, which we'll do in a second. Um, but for now, I will go ahead and set this up to happen and become due rather immediately after the contact is added to a sequence. And uh, I can assign priority to this task, which I'll assign as high. And I'll add a note for myself or anybody else who uses my sequence, which is add some personalization. And I can hit continue. So you'll notice uh, right away that it kicks me into this situation where I can create my template uh, and it's got this AI assistant on the right hand side. I'm gonna go ahead and close the AI assistant for now. I can show you how that works later. Um, but we're going to craft a template for our email so that when we get these tasks due, we only have to personalize them. We don't have to write a new email from scratch every time. So remember in our example, I am selling uh, SEO services to marketing agencies. So I'm gonna write a subject line. Now, before I go any further, in this video, I'm not gonna dive into the intricacies of copywriting, but we have done that in the past. If you go to the Apollo YouTube channel, again, just search apollo.io and come to our YouTube, you'll see that we have a 45, actually almost an hour long webinar about mastering cold emails and how to use the AI features in Apollo. I dive into my favorite secrets, uh, my favorite sequence structure rather for how to book meetings with email. And I highly recommend you give this a listen. While I'm here, I can also show you, we have another webinar on cold calling. And those are two key functions of a sequence, sending emails and making phone calls. So if that's something you struggle with or you want to learn from people who are really good at it, uh, I recommend you watch those webinars. But back to the task at hand. So I'm in Apollo here and I need a subject line for my email. So I'll go ahead and use an example from the webinar I did. 12 top SEO rankings, last queue. There's a lot of reasons why I did this that I explained in that webinar, but this is essentially a good hook that someone is likely to click on um, to see what the rest of that, what the rest of the, the word is, what, what Q, what does Q mean? So now I have an opportunity to actually start crafting the email and I'll say, hi, first name. So you'll notice I just created some curly brackets and I put first name in it. We call this a dynamic variable, which you can find along the bottom of your screen. There's a whole bunch of things you can see here, text formatting, links, images, files, raw HTML, templates. Um, 
we can dive into that later, but a dynamic variable is a variable that we will pull from the information we have on somebody in Apollo. So you don't have to uh, always you know, type their first name. If I say first name in curly brackets, um, their first name will automatically be populated. I can do company as well, which that will remove things like Inc or LLC or something from the company name. Um, or I can choose unprocessed name if I wanna include that. There's a ton of variables I can include. Uh, based on where the prospect is, where they live, and, and all the information that we have available to us in Apollo. I can also create custom fields that I pull in from my CRM or from my product. Um, and there's some advanced dynamic variables as well. These are primarily if-then statements. If you've ever done any programming or if you really like math, this will look familiar to you. So if we have a first name, we would use the first name. And if not, we would call them uh, something else. These are advanced dynamic variables, and I've seen people get really, really fancy with this. I recommend you take a look at them, but for now, we're going to keep things simple. I'm going to say, hey, first name. I run an agency that helps, or uh, I help marketing agencies get their clients ranked in the top three spots on Google. Google. And now I'm going to add some personalization. So you'll notice that I just created a dynamic variable, but uh, mine is in red, meaning that this variable will break. This is a reminder for me as the person sending this email to actually add some personalization here. And Apollo won't let me send that email until I fix it. Uh, okay, so I'm gonna add a couple things now. Uh, I help marketing agencies get their clients ranked in the top three spots on Google. This is a really short, sweet, to the point email. And if I want to see what it would look like for a contact, uh, I can choose somebody from my contacts list and you can see what that would look like. It would pull his name in instead of the first name. Uh, so now I can go ahead and hit save. So I have created a manual email that will come due as soon as I add someone to this sequence. Now I have the option to add an AB test which I highly recommend that you do, especially if you're going to be emailing enough people to get good data here. So if you're just gonna email you know, 100 people and you'll never email more people than that in this sequence, probably not worth doing. But if you are going to email, uh, let's say, you know, the entirety of your 1,000 person list that we built earlier, or the 1,000 people in your persona that we built earlier, you should use an A-B test so you can start finding out what works better, what subject line works better, what body copy works better. So I'll create, a A B test and I'll just change the subject line. I'll say uh, SEO question for you. And I can put, you know, the same copy that I put in the previous email in this email and I can go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna add another step and now I can start incorporating other things like phone calls, which I highly recommend that you do. In my experience across hundreds of thousands of sends and 12 years of outbound sales, uh, what I've found is that calls and emails work together. So if you're sending phone calls and leaving voicemails, the people that you're contacting that way are more likely to reply to your emails and vice versa. Uh, you're sending emails, those people are more likely to answer your phone calls. So they work best in concert with each other. So I can create a call task for myself due. Uh, for our purposes, I'll say immediately after the previous step. And I'll leave a note, leave a voicemail. So I can continue with this uh, as many steps as I want. My personal recommendation is to space these things out. You know, it's fine to do a call and an email uh, one day apart or on the same day, but then you wanna give yourself some time. For this example, I'm gonna give an automatic email three days later uh, after my, my first email. Um, maybe I wanna be even actually a little bit more spaced out than that, and I call it five days after. So. I'm back in the email wizard here and I can choose uh, if I want this to have an, its own subject line or if I want to reply to the previous thread. I'm gonna go ahead and do a reply to the previous thread and I'll just say something like, hey, first name, quick yes or no is fine. Are you looking for SEO help? Go ahead and hit save. So now I've got a manual email on day one, a phone call where I'll leave a voicemail. Five days later, I'll do an automatic email and then I'll do a LinkedIn uh, connection request, let's say one day after that. And I can keep adding to this as much as I want, uh, but for now, I'm actually going to go back to my uh, search tab and I'm gonna add people to the sequence so you guys can see what that process looks like. <laughs> 